Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Um, today I was very busy, but everything's good. Okay, that's good that we're busy and that um, at the end of the day, everything's fine. That is yeah. fantastic. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Okay, and uh, we're going to wait just two or three minutes to wait for the rest of the students to come into the class. Okay. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How very are you nice. today? I'm very well. A little bit tired, but uh, tomorrow is Thursday and then Friday, so uh, that is good. Okay, my friends, we are going to start the class. Welcome today. And uh, first question is, how is everything going with the platform? Todos terminamos ya. Hay algunos que faltan. Vamos avanzando. Hay preguntas, dudas de la plataforma, comentarios. It's all okay. I finished in the morning, at the morning, today morning. Okay, so you have the certificate already? Yes, I have it. Good, congratulations. I finished, I finished too. Very good, nice. So if you finish, that is fine. We just need to be sure that the progress at the end is fine and to come to the English class. That's the only thing. But other than that, it's fine. También me imagino que todos ya enviaron la documentación. Hoy era último día, ¿verdad? Para enviar la documentación para el siguiente nivel. Espero pues que nadie haya faltado. Sí, ya también. Good, perfect. So now uh, we're going to continue practicing the present perfect. That was something that we were doing uh, before. So let me just open here. Okay. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good How are good you? Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm okay. Thanks. Nice. Welcome. And you? Very well. Very well. Good. Okay, so for this one, uh, we are going to uh, write, well, tell me, you are going to tell me the questions and then an answer uh, for the questions in the present perfect, okay? It's going to be kind of easy, I guess. So the first one, how is going to be the first question? How long, how have, long you have you been, been in Africa? Africa? Good. How long have you been in Africa? And what would be an answer for that one? I have been in Africa for one year. <laughs> so. Good. That, that is, is good. True. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Ali? <laughs> okay, yeah, that is a good answer. Hi. Um, nice, perfect, welcome. So, uh, yeah, you can say I have been in Africa for one year, using the grammar that we know. The next one, who's going to be number two? I have been there for three years. Very good. So that is like the answer for the number one. Number three. How is going to be number three? How long How has long? he lived in Berlin? How long has he lived in Berlin? And number four? He has... He has yep. lived there, there. there. Since, since 2002. 2002. Very good. He has lived there 
since 2002. Okay, number five. How long, How has, long she has she worn that coat? Worn, good. So, how long has she worn that coat? And the uh, number six? She, she, she has, has worn it last winter. Last last winter. It last winter. Last winter. Since, very good. She has worn it since last winter. Yeah, because we have a specific uh, period, not period of time, but a specific point when the action started. That's nice. What about number seven? Where have you been today? Where have you been today? Where have you been today? And number eight? I have been, I have been, been at the hospital. hospital. I have been at the hospital. Good. Number nine. How long How has, long the, has detective the detective looked, 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 for, the looked for the man? Looked Good. for the man. How long has the detective looked for the man? And number 10. He has, he has looked, looked for, for him, him two, two, months. two months. Okay, he has looked for him for two months. Okay, number 11. Why has she taken my money? My money. Why has she taken my money? Number 12. She has traveled. She has traveled around the world for four years. She has years. traveled around the world for four years. Yeah, that is very easy. She has traveled around the world for four years. Number 13. Where have, Where you... have you put my case? Where have you put my keys? my keys? I don't remember. Where is that? Yeah, actually, it's that. Where have you put my keys? Nice. I'll put it the same. Yeah, put that is not going to change. Okay, and uh, what about number 14? She, she has, has moved, moved to a new house, a new in, the house in the country. In the country. She has moved to a new house in the country. Nice. Number 15. How, How long, long have your friend, friend studied German? German? How long have your friend studied German? How long has yeah. your friend studied German? German studied. Okay. Number uh, 16. She has, she has studied, studied she has German, has studied German in, uh, since 1999. Very good. She has studied German since 1999. Very good. Number 17. You have played golf ever? Have you played golf? Have you played golf ever? Have you ever? Yeah, have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? That is a very, a very common ever. way for you to ask questions with the present perfect. Have you ever played golf? So that is a question like, alguna vez? Have you ever? Have you ever gone to other country? Have you ever eaten insect? I don't know. Any question, right? And uh, number 18. The, the has, has the documentary already finished? already finished? Well, in question, it will be something like that. Has the documentary the, already the finished? The documentary has already finished. Or in affirmative, it can be the documentary has already finished. Yeah. Both ways is fine. That's fine. Nice. What about number 19? My teacher, my teacher hasn't, hasn't explained, explained that explained lesson yet. That lesson yet. Good. My teacher hasn't explained that lesson yet. And number 20. Kevin has to give Kevin his has mother given his mother Kevin. a nice present. Well, his Good. mother a nice present. Kevin has given his mother a nice present. Good. Perfect. Any questions by now? Okay, the next practice is going to be kind of interesting. Let me check. Ah, here's it. It's easy. 
okay what we are going to do here is to to choose okay here we have some sentences and we are going to choose the correct form okay so but here that is it i mean sometimes it's going to be simple past and sometimes it's going to be present perfect you are going to choose so the first one says my mom okay it's going to be had or has had Has had. Has, 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 yeah, okay, so you say that is uh, past because past. it's something that is uh, already finished, right? Okay, let's check. Este lo vamos a chequear hasta que terminemos todo. Vamos a ver cuánto nos sacamos. Okay. The next one is I, and then the option is. I have done. Haven't have done. Have done. Have done. Have done. Haven't 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 Haven't done. 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 Boat. Mm, okay. No. No. About. How about? How about? How about? La mayoría dice uh, how about. Yeah. ¿Cuánto uh -huh. dice about? Bueno, vamos a hacer caso a la mayoría. How about? Okay. Oh, yeah. Luego, luego vamos a ver si es, si es ese o no. The next one it says I. I married. I got I got my. I, 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 got, I 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 got, got this one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. I got married a few months ago. Now, uh, well, the next one, the panda one, says we. We have gone. Have gone. Have gone. Yeah. Okay. We Everybody win. agrees. Ah, okay, one person says went. We went. went. We 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 went. I say we went. Okay, everybody says we went. So I'm going to take went. Uh, the next one, Sam. Um, red or has red? Red. Has red. Uh, has red. Has red. Two books this week. This no. week. Majority says has read, so I'm going to tell you. Has read. Has read. Has read. Hey. What about this one? We? We haven't we. go. We didn't 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 go. Okay, the majority says didn't go. So I'm going to take didn't, didn't that one. Then we have I. I lost. Lost. Um, lost. And lost. 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 I lost. 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 Okay, I lost my watch two days ago. Yeah. The next one says we never played or have never played have yeah. never, never played play. have never played have never played we have never played okay everybody agrees that is have never played never played in yeah. the last one have you ever have you ever been have you ever have you ever been have you ever been yeah i guess this is very obvious okay so now comes the time of truth. Tan -tan -tan -tan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check. Okay, you are awesome. Yeah. Oh. Wow. 
Ay. adivinando. <laughs> yes, sí. No, it was not yeah. But it, it was very good that you just stop and analyze. I mean, that is very important that you analyze what is going on. I mean, is this something that happened in the past? Is this something that um, has uh, finished already or is continuing? But it's a very good job, man. I'm proud of you. So it's a hundred. Nice. <laughs> okay, let me check what would be the next exercise. Okay. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Now we are going to practice with a classmate. Uh, the usual way that we do. What we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, we are going to write, let's say, seven questions that you would like to interview with one of our classmates. So. Uh, you are going to write the questions and then okay. you are going to work in pairs and you can uh, this is a very good chance for you to research experiences uh, that other classmate has done or they haven't done you can ask any kind of question that you would like and then you are going to work in pairs and you are going to ask the questions and then the third part of the exercise is of course to come back and tell me uh, and tell everybody what you have researched, what you have investigated for uh, from your classmate. Okay? okay. Any question about the exercise? How many questions? Three. Seven questions is okay. Seven. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, let's say, six minutes for you to write the questions. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So please, everybody, write the questions, and then I'm going to create the. Uh, the groups. If you need uh, to ask me something, I will be here, of course. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hola. Bonjour. Hi. <laughs> hey, como no tengo cámara, yo no veo quiénes están. <laughs> Por favor, enciendan las cámaras. María Estela, how are you? Hi, <laughs> thank you. Yes. I am incognito. Eh, estamos escribiendo unas preguntas en eh, presente perfecto que le vamos a hacer. Vamos a entrevistar a los compañeros, a un compañero. Ah, y luego, después de escribirlas, sí, vamos a hacer un grupito ahí de dos o de tres personas para hacer las preguntas. Y luego vamos a venir a contar aquí a la clase que hemos investigado en estas entrevistas que haremos. ¿Ok? So, take your time to write the questions and then we're going to start. Um, pres present perfect, right? Yeah, we're going to practice the present perfect. That's the one. Okay, okay. Good.
Okay, have you finished the questions already? No. Okay, I'm gonna give you- Oh, give me a minute, a minute. Of course, of course, <laughs> two more minutes. Have you finished already? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to work with one or other person, I mean two or three people in a group and you are going to ask the questions, okay? And then you are going to come back and uh, tell the okay. class what you have learned. So let me check. Okay, so uh, here we go. Hello, Justin. Hello. Can you hear me?
Hola, Ticha. Hello. So, y por error me salí de la sala de reuniones. No sé si me puede volver a conectar. Eh, sí, no le ha llegado ahí el, el... ¿Cómo no? Lo que pasa es que me salí pero, por error. Ah, ok. Uh... Estaba con Josimet. O... Sí, ella se no. acaba de meter ahorita. Sí, 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 porque no había nadie, por eso me salí. Ajá. Sí, sí, pues estábamos esperando, permítame. Ok. Déjame ver si puedo. Usted no, no tiene ahí la invitación, no, no, no le dice volver a entrar. No, no, eh, salas de... Let me just check. You ever, oh, wait, wait. This is um, the same for you. Um, uh, um, no. Get me? Um, no, I know um, um, I worry is in national. I know travel. Okay. Have you ever seen a ghost? Ah, uh, yes. I love it, sing. <laughs> oh, listen, the question. Have, have you ever seen a ghost? Mm. Do you know about ghost? Espérame, que esos audífonos no me sirven y ahorita he perdido los míos y te digo, me, la mitad y la otra mitad me quedo armándola. Okay. Pero bueno, me está preguntando hey. si me gusta la música, no. algo, si me gusta una canción. No. Sing. Have you ever seen? Sing. Sing, uh, sing, sing. Ok. El ver, si, sí, so, sing. So, sing. Ver. Ah, Have you uh -huh. ever seen a ghost? Si, si yo he visto, ¿qué me está...? Ah, Decímelo en español que no te entiendo. <ríe> si ha visto alguna vez un fantasma. Sí, varios en mi casa ahorita. Es que no me, no me puedo concentrar que tengo dos fermitas en mi cama. Okay. Y el audífono me está fallando. Solo oigo con uno y el otro ya no. Ok. Ok. Ya, yeah, hay problema en internet. Ok. Hay, pro, hay problema, hay, ¿cómo se dice? Audífonos. Headphones. Es headphone, ya. Yeah. Ok. Another question for you. I have, yeah. <laughs> No sé cómo, cómo se traduce la, la comida típica de acá al inglés o sea, la comida, eh. what do you want to say mm, por ejemplo eh, la, la lo que salen de la molienda atados de dulce eh, batidos eh, espuma miel okay. eh, de esas cosas son bastante yeah. reconocidas you, acá you can say like typical candy from El Salvador ah ok in general you can say that Thing. Okay, that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, now, have you drunk tequila? Yes, I have drunk tequila. And what about you? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, do you like a lot? Yes, uh, a little, but it's good. All right. Yes, it's good. With lemon and salt. <laughs> yes. And um, tell me, have you ever watched uh, Los Cien? Sorry. It's it's uh, lo, it has, lo, it's a, I don't know what is. Es como es una serie. It's a series. Ah, uh, it's a TV show. Ah, uh, yes, it's a TV show. Okay. 
No, I haven't seen the Los Angeles. Okay. It's like a movie. How, how do you oh. say serie, teacher? Uh, you can say a TV show. TV uh, show. TV show. Uh, if it's a comedy, you can say a sitcom. But if it's not a comedy, you just say a TV show. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, ask me something. Okay, have you ever seen The, the King? It's a TV show. Ah, uh, uh, The King? Sí, yes, uh, it's a, a Korean TV show. Ah, uh, no, I haven't, man. Okay. I ha haven't seen that TV show. And have you ever... Or have you uh, let me see have you ever have you ever dry driven drunk? No, I haven't I haven't tried. I I haven't car a car. Okay. Um, have you ever left the work? Who am work? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Tell me. It's, yes. It's good. That is good. <laughs> yes, I I I believe you. <laughs> um, do you like video games? Yes, I like. Okay. And have you ever played uh, Free Fire? Yes, of course, right? No, no, no. You, you don't like? I haven't uh, played Free Fire. I don't like it. Ah, really? <laughs> okay. And what kind of video games do you like? Uh, I like la, uh, ajedrez, a chess, chess, uh, mm, tamas, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, uh, de FIFA. Checkers oh, okay. es damas, checkers. Checkers, ok. Mm -hmm. uh, de FIFA y no recuerdo cómo. Ok, eh, I like... no recuerdo el otro. I like cheese. Oh, ah, really? Yes, it's a very good uh, game. Chess, right? Yes, chess. That's good. Okay, ask me. Uh, have you ever uh, done a tattoo? No, I Did haven't done. Okay, but would you like? Or no, no? Uh, no, I don't like tattoos. Okay. Have you have you practiced uh, taekwondo? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh. And you? Have you ever practiced taekwondo? Yes, I had practice since a month. Okay. That that sounds great. Uh, <laughs> and have you ever borrowed the noise to other friends practicing that ta taekwondo? Mm, can you repeat? Have you ever borrowed the noise to another friend practicing Taekwondo? What is born? Eh, reventar. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I haven't burned. Okay. Uh, teacher, how is escalar? That is climb. So in the past is going to be climbed with ed. That is a regular verb. Sorry, I can't hear you. 
climbed. Can you hear? Climbed. Can you repeat again? Uh, yes, climbed. 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 Ah, climbed. Ah, yes. So, yes. climbed. And then uh, you are going to. Yeah, you are going to use that in a simple, uh, simple pass. I mean, that is a regular, a regular verb that is going to be with ed. Oh, okay. So, my friend, have you ever climbed a volcano? No, I haven't climbed a volcano. I I have climbed a. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, Cerro. Hill. hill. Uh, I have I have climbed uh, a hill. Okay. Okay, so how was the experience? <laughs> Interesting. It was cool. Interesting. That's <laughs> good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the class and tell not the question and the answer. Remember that we are going to tell. So, for example, I was speaking with... Carlos and Carlos says that he has never been to Egypt, but he has eaten uh, Indian food like that. Okay, that is what we're gonna do. So the question right now is, who wants to be the first one? I want to be. Oh, okay. 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 Go ahead, Patricia. Okay. Um, I talk with Luis. And he told me that he has uh, has been in another countries. Uh, he visited Mexico, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, and Spain too, and Italy because um, he travels a lot for his work. Okay. And he told me also that he has read three books the last year and one of the books was the Eliseo Diary. Okay. And um, let's see. Ah, he told me that he has, um, he has gone to a concert a few years ago with uh, his older son and they saw Mana. Okay. He told me that it was very fun. Okay. And the last thing that he told me, um, uh, he has visited the Impossible Forest when he was young, and also the Monte Cristo Forest and the Wizard Mountain. They were a very good experience for him. That's all. Very interesting. Thank you. Very interesting, Luis. That's nice. Okay. Who wants to be the next one? Okay. Uh, I am very... In my case, because okay. uh, Patricia told uh, for me, 
I talk uh, for uh, Chin. Okay. Okay. Patricia uh, told me uh, she has uh, cook a big chicken for the Christmas. Okay. Uh, uh, her mother-in-law cook turkey, but uh, in her house cook a big chicken. Okay. And uh, told me Patricia, uh, she has uh, practiced aerobic er exercise uh, every day uh, to seven to eight o'clock. Okay. Uh, seven uh, to eight p.m. o'clock every day after the English class. Okay. And uh, tell me, and, uh, is she visit uh, the cinema with uh, your uh, boyfriend? Actually, your husband, uh, perdón, uh, sorry, her husband uh, visited the cinema and they uh, saw the scary movie. Okay, that's good. And only that. Okay, thank you very much, Luis. That was interesting as well. Okay, thank you. And now, who's next? Um, uh, me, Roger. Okay. Um, okay, I talked to Josue. He told me that he has eating a strange food, um, rabbit, for example. And he usually makes jokes to, to his friends. Um, he's a, a a very funny boy, and he cook he cooked for his mom beard life, and only that for this conversation. <laughs> Come very good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Very interesting. Who's going to be the next one? I'm going to be the next one. Okay. Go ahead. I was talking with Roger and he has been has studied English for a year and he hasn't been on TV but for for he is very interesting that been on TV and he hasn't eaten uh, a strange food. And when Roger was at school, he he has a joke to a friend two times. So I think that was bullying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the information. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, who wants to be the next one? Um, okay, Roxanne. Me. <laughs> I talked with Olympia, and uh, she has never eaten rabbit, and she has traveled by train when she went to uh, Sonsonate, she said to me, and um she likes uh, she has she has cooked uh, or made a cake many times okay. and um she likes to drink a lot of coffee <laughs> okay. i don't know only that thank you very I much i don't remember another question <laughs> okay good that's good thank you okay now who's next Okay, um, I am, um, and the question is Rox, Roxy, Roxana? Yeah, Roxy. Um, you can Roxy. call me Roxy, I like it. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Roxy, I like it, uh, uh, coffee. She likes uh, She loves lean coffee, yes. I uh, have a uh, visit to uh, Wasapaneca in the family, in the brothers, um, and that's it. I um, no remember so much. Okay, good. Thank you, Oli. I, I want to be the next one. Okay, go ahead then. 
um, I, I talked with Rigoberto and he told me he has not played basketball and he went to go to Guatemala and he likes instrumental music. Only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So who's going to be the next one? Hi, teacher. Okay. Okay, I was talking with Alejandra. And she said that she likes uh, pop music. She likes uh, uh, Shakira um, music, Michael Jackson. Um, Sometimes she goes uh, to, the, to the gym uh, to do a uh, spinning sometimes. I don't feel lots of weight. Um, okay. Is that okay? Perfect, Rigor. Thank you very much. Who yeah. wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please, Antonio. Okay, I talk with Juan Arias. He's from Apastepec, and he hasn't been in another country. He has eaten exotic food. And he don't like free fire. He hasn't win a championship. He has climbed uh, hills. He has fallen on the street when he was in high school in front of many people. And he likes tequila. And he, he loves to play chess. Good, chess is nice as well. Okay, thank you very much. Who's going to be the next one? Uh, I. Okay. Uh, I talked with Antonio. Uh, he has played soccer, basketball, and biker. He, he was a biker. Okay. And he has visited other countries. He has gone to Honduras, Belize, and Guatemala. He likes tequila with salt and lemon. Uh, he likes cheese. And he has climbed uh, Ilamatepec Volcano. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. Who's missing? Uh, me. Okay. Uh, I did an interview with Josimet okay. and she told me and she has been in another country. She has gone in Guatemala and she told me uh, she hasn't played soccer in the beach, but she, she has built a sandal castle Sun castle with uh, with his, his children and I saw uh, she told oh God. Me, she, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was good <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> cartoons <laughs> <laughs> and she told me uh, she she has you you never lived alone okay she has never lived alone mm -hmm. good. Thank you very much, Jose. Who's missing? Can I? Can I? Um, I, I interviewed with Jose. Okay. And he has, he has ever been in San Miguel for work. Okay. He is a very, very, um, I mean, a very nice person because he haven't visit, visited his family in the quarantine. So he keeps safe, his okay. family. <laughs> and <laughs> he has, um, he has gone uh, to cinema and Go go gone home with his family after work, 
but I think before the quarantine. And he doesn't like sushi, and I don't like it either, so that's good. <laughs> and he said in one time he drunk a lot in Christmas Eve, and he doesn't do anymore. All and right. I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very good, very interesting. Uh, your name is very interesting, Jasmine. Have you ever looked for that one? What is the meaning of that? Actually, it's, it's the park of the United States. It's in, in California. Okay. But just here, you know, the problem is in the mayor. Um, the secretary mistake did a mistake for yes. when he write my fell. name. So... <laughs> Yes, it was Yosemite, but he put me, Yosemite. <laughs> it, it's almost the same. And actually, nobody, I didn't find, I didn't find any person with that name. In my, so you're unique. I, th I think I'm, I'm the unique. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I try to, I try to find in the Google or Facebook, maybe, I can find somebody, but no, I'm I can make. <laughs> the only one. for that mistake. <laughs> well, you know, nothing happens because of coincidence. And your last yes. name is also a kind of kind of interesting. Yes. It's the only one. Yeah, so she has a unique name. In right? her and uh, in her last name is it's not common too. It's not common. No all. either. Caravante. Caravante. Is that family from yeah, the my first. Actually, they said uh, the the last name is from Spain. The real, the real name. I mean, the I don't know the the uh, las raíces pues. The roots from the name. The roots. Family name. Yes. But I don't know. I have to study that. But I didn't have time for that. Yeah, <laughs> that was very good. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Okay, my friends, in general, it was a very good experience. Maybe you need to pay attention to uh, when you are talking. I know that it's kind of difficult because you, are, you want to express yourself and you just want to, uh, to talk and provide information and things like that. But you need to pay attention about um, some uh, verbs. Sometimes you mix uh, present with past or simple past with present perfect that is normal I mean you are learning right uh, but uh, since you are in intermediate level already what you need to do is to pay attention on what you are saying everybody does a mistake I mean even American people sometimes they don't talk correctly but uh, since we need to improve that's why we we want to do we need to improve that little part when we are talking try to uh, if you do a mistake at least you need to notice you need to say oh that is not correct okay that is something another thing is uh, probably the most uh, common tenses that you are going to use for English in general are, are the ones that we have checked already five the present uh, the simple present that is for routines habits right so you are going to be able to discuss anything that you do that you usually do and uh, things like that then the other one is the present continuous for you to express things that you are doing at the moment right what are you doing um, cooking right now uh, the other one of course is going to be the simple past for actions that finished already okay I went to the park yesterday things like that the other one is this one the present perfect uh, when you express experiences or things that started in the past and they continue probably this a little bit uh, is mixed with used to that is also very common I used to do something and now that has changed and the other one is the future that you can use with will or going to so if you are able if you are able to manage uh, those tenses correctly you can speak English the rest that you are going to continue checking is going to be for more complex uh, sentences ideas 
uh, yes, there is a lot of other things that you want to talk, that you want to express, that you want to learn, but the basis of the English are these five tenses. So my recommendation for you is to, to practice. You can practice for first of all grammar with exercises. I can send you some exercises if you want. Uh, probably on Thursday I'm going to send you some links for you during the weekend if you have the time. You can just um, practice. Uh, then you can write paragraphs. You know, you can uh, uh, send me things if you want, or uh, you can paste there. On, there are uh, online some grammar uh, checkers or uh, essays checkers there are many uh, now with internet you are going to have lots of tools for example one of the tools if you want to improve pronunciation in Google documents there is an option for you to enable the uh, microphone and you can set that in English and you can dictate to the document so if the word is not correct you didn't say it correctly so that is something that you can do with any document, a blank document in, in Google. So there are many things that you can do. Uh, you are very good. Of course, everybody has a different level. And everybody has different skills. I mean, sometimes we are very good at listening and understanding. Sometimes uh, we are better by writing. The most difficult skill is to speak. Yeah. Because of those little mistakes that morning. we do, right? You say something and you say, oh, that is not correct. But if you practice, everything will be fine. Okay? So this is like my recommendation at this point. Um, now the question is, do you have a question? I just want to say something. Go ahead. I think the problem for us is um, here is almost a uh, little percent people talking English so we can practice with everybody and where accent is like too strong and it's hard to to do perfectly so we we imagine the the word or we thinking we don't we don't use the perfect accent I think it's the most difficult and the other reason can be that we learned like English street and now learn like with grammar and do everything little by little the, the good grammar. I think for me it's more difficult because I talk like chapetona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's, it's difficult to ¿Cómo se dice? Desaprender para luego aprender. Yeah. Un leer. Un leer. Y then learn. Yes. That's all. Yeah, you know, that is, uh, I guess that is common. I mean, everybody has a different progress, a different way that you learn, a different way that you learn when you were learning that at the beginning. So the good thing is to understand what we need so we can continue I check in on that one. Uh, for example, if for you the most difficult is to to listen, then you need to practice that more than the other skills. Okay, and um, yeah, probably the first step is to to use well English is like first vocabulary. You need to know vocabulary, then grammar, then fluency. You are in that part between grammar and fluency, and then at the end we can improve the accent. With the accent, it's, differ, it's, it's difficult because, I mean, here in El Salvador, probably you are not going to have a very good accent. And another problem is that the accent depends on the place. I mean, if you go to Australia, their accent is totally different from the U.S. and from uh, England. So it's going to be kind of difficult. But if you are able to, uh, to use the grammar, even when your accent is Latin accent, Everybody's going to understand, you know. Um, I have a friend, for example, that he he's a teacher. He's very good in English. His accent was very, very good. And uh, he got a job in Canada. He went to Canada and he says that what? The moment that he arrived, he went off the plane 
he didn't understand anything. Everybody in Canada, they were talking English like, like you say, street English. A lot of slangs, a lot of words that he didn't understand. And it was difficult for him. And he was a teacher. I mean, he studied at the university five, six years to, to learn English. I mean, they have, they have subjects like phonetics, so they can develop that one. Uh, so is, this is just uh, uh, the way that we learn here is uh, based on that. The most important maybe is that you use the grammar properly so the other person understands. If the other person understands what you're saying, uh, that is fine. It's good enough. It's good enough. That's why uh, I was telling you these uh, recommendations today, because if you launch when you're talking some words in past and then in present and it's a mix up, uh, there are some American people that they will tell you, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You. <laughs> Just for one or two words that you don't say properly in grammar, uh, they say, oh, I'm sorry, I, I just can't understand. Could you, could you please repeat that? That is normal, okay? And you have a very good level. I mean, your English is very good, but we can always improve, be better, right? Um, of course, if you need help in doing something different, I can listen to you. You can chat with me directly and we can listen to some other things, but I would like, uh, this is what I really like to, to talk, you know? We review grammar and we understand grammar, but the most important skill is to talk. When you talk, that is where you really, really use everything. I mean, sometimes you want to say something and you say, how do you say that thing? I don't know. That is where you need to, to work, right? Okay, any uh, questions, any comments, anything by the end of this class? Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> uh, I, s I have studied English for many years and I have problem when I try to speak and I don't know I I think in Spanish too and I translate and I have many problems I try to listen more and I try to speak uh, to I, I watch the videos, watch the videos in, in YouTube and, and I, and I uh, try to, to um, make or do the, the, the advice and nothing work with me, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't know what is my problem. You know, uh, I try to speak. I, I am nervous. I'm afraid, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, everybody, as I was telling you, uh, has different levels. It has different ways to learn. So probably what you need to find, everybody needs to find the best way for you to learn. Of course, practice is important. Maybe one of the problems that we have when we want to talk is that we don't talk in English that much. I mean, we listen to videos, we do some exercises, but the talking is the one that we don't do that much because maybe we don't have people to talk with, right? So that's why, at least here in this hour, I like, I, I push you to, to speak, right? Speak a little bit and I explain grammar a little bit fast and then let's practice. That's what I try to do. And uh, I like it. It's fun. Well, that is that is uh, the the important but i mean it depends on the level if we were in in the beginner uh, of course vocabulary and grammar and being slow but at this point we need to talk a little bit more so probably that's what we need to do just practice more talk more um we can i don't know find a, a way to talk with other people uh, with i mean uh, there was i don't know if uh, here there was a a guy who sent an application that was probably good. I haven't tried that, to be honest with you. Uh, there are many ways that you can. If you find people to talk with in English that they are, for example, native or they are very good in English, and you continue practicing, you are going to get there. 
but that is the only thing. I mean, your English in, in your case, Roxanne, is very good. Your level is good, is good. You practice. I mean, you mm -hmm. say almost always the correct answers. The only thing that maybe you need to do is to practice more. Everybody has different levels and everybody need different things. So the most important thing is to practice. Learn, understand grammar, and use it. And everything will be fine. Okay. Okay, my friends, you, it was a pleasure. It's very late already. So okay. um, I know that you're tired and you want to go to bed. So see you tomorrow. Have a Thank wonderful you so day. much, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.